Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and today we are doing another Lego set review type thing. Today we are going to be doing an overview of all the protectors. So, let's go ahead and start off. So, anyways, the protectors are the smallest of the newest 2015 sets, and they're, even though they may be small and all, but they're pretty good, if I have to say. They make excellent birthday presents, I would assume. We've got lots of transparent pieces for them. Awesome masks, good functions, and they even come with skull spiders. So, anyways, let's go over, um, um, so anyways, each of them come with their own skull spider. Um, um, there are three different co colored skull spiders, um, the lime, the type of lime light green one, you can get it in the Protector of Earth set or the Protector of Fire set. Um, there is a dark metro blue colored skull spider, which there is one with a little stinger and one without a stinger. Um, you can get the one with the stinger with the Protector of Stone, and you can get the one without the stinger with the Protector of Jungle. Then there is the Silver Skull Spider. Um, you can get this in the Protector of Ice set or the Protector of Water set. So overall, if you got all the Protector sets, you, you would get six Skull Spiders. Two Lime Light Green colored Skull Spiders. Two, two Dark Metro Blue skull, colored Skull Spiders, one with a tail and one without a tail and two silver skull spiders. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take these out and we'll go ahead and take a look at the protectors themselves. So the protectors, um, they're all each unique in their own way. So, um, the protector of Earth, he's He's unique in his own way, mainly because he's got the the rapid stud shooter on his chest. The protector of stone is unique, mainly because of his giant enormous staff. That's his only weapon. The protector of fire is unique. One re two reasons: his sh um his shoulders are he has raised shoulders, so his arms are a little higher, and he has his his um. What is it called? Um, his six stud shooter, his six stud rapid fire shooter on his sh on his shoulder. Protector of ice is unique because he has a um, large shield. Um, the protector of jungle is unique because of his bow, and yeah, his bow. And the protector of water is unique because of his or her um. Um, weapon, little harpoon weapon, with the um, little scuba pack on her shoulders. So, that pretty much covers the, um, how each individual one is unique. Now let's talk about their similarities. These are all similar in a way, mainly because of their masks. Their masks are the same exact mold for all of these. The only difference is the color is the melding of coloration. For the protector of Earth, it is it is black with dark transparent purple. For the protector of stone, it is burnt orange melded with the type of limeish type of limeish greenish, the yellowish type of lime yellowish limeish color, translucent color. Um, for the protector of fire, it's mata mata to it's mata red melded with um, translucent yellow. For the protector of ice, it's oh, it's um white um melded with translucent li neon light blue. For the protector of jungle, it is it is um the type of um. I think it's called Green Lantern Green, but I called it Jungle Green. So Jungle Green melded with the translucent light neon green, or lime neon green. And for the Protector of Water, it is the, um, not exactly sure what the color is called, but it's like just a type of blue. I call it, I'm going to call it Ocean Blue. So Ocean Blue melded with a type of 
dark, um, translucent blue. So, yeah, they're bas the ma their masks are basically all of the same. They just have different colorations. Um, but, um, they also, um, use... Another thing is, let's just use the protective earth thing. Um, they all have the pop-off mask function, so you press on the back of the eye stock, and their mask comes off. Um, but another thing that they all have is the new bionicle, um, the new bionicle head with the eyepiece. Now, all the, these protectors don't all have the same eyepiece. Um, there are a few that have the lime green eyepiece, and a few that have the blue eyepiece. So, the ones with this color, the, um, the type of green eyepiece, would be the protector of earth, the protector of jungle, and the protector of water. But, and, um, there are one, then there are a few with the, um, blue, blue eyepiece, eye that will be, oops, that will be the protector of stone, the protector of fire, and the protector of ice. So, let's try to get that set back up. Um, alrighty. Another thing that is great about these sets, that each and every one of these sets has at least some translucent bone pieces or translucent armor pieces, and that is really, really great. For the Protector of Earth, you got, for the first time ever, you've got translucent or tra oh, orange, no, translucent purple bone pieces. For the Protector of Stone, all as well, for the first time ever, we have translucent, um, limish, yellowish, translucent color, um, for the protector of fire, um, we've got this before, um, armor pieces in neon, transparent, orange, except there's a, they've got a new, except the armor pieces are in a new length, or those armor pieces are in a new color, they can go either way. Um, for the protector of ice, we have a translucent shield, actually, which is really nice, and some transparent bone pieces, and a tr translucent hands, and a few translucent armor pieces. For the protector of jungle, we've got some translucent armor pieces. And, and um, but yeah, um, for, oh, for the protector of ice, they're all, all the, um, translucent pieces are light blue. For the protector of jungle, his armor pieces, his translucent armor pieces are in a lime green. For and for the protector of water, he or she has um, a few light neon translucent light blue pieces, as well as some dark blue transparent armor pieces. So that's all pretty nice. And she and he or she also has some light blue transparent neon turbine little things on her. These things right here. But, those are all the translucent pieces, so that's pretty nice. Um, another thing they all have in common is that they use these, um, Invasion from Below feet. Um, three of them have them in black, and three of them have them in silver. The Protector of Earth, Protector of Fire, and the Protector of Water have them in black. Protector of Stone, Protector of Ice, and the Protector of Jungle have them in silver. Um, and there are... Next thing is that two of these, um are unique and similar. Um, the Protector of Stone and the Protector of Jungle um, are similar and unique in their each way because they have little add-ons on their feet. For the Protector of Stone, he's got these little little spikes on his feet. And for the Protector of Jungle, there are these little lime, lime green vines. But there is a lot about these characters. Um, another thing is, they all have these new rapid stud shooters. Um, for a, for a few of them, they are built into weapons. And for some of them, they are built onto, onto their own body. For, for the protector of earth, it's built into his chest, and for the protector of fire, it's built on his shoulder. But for the, um, um, for some, for one of them, specifically the Protector of Ice, um, the Stud Shooter is a one-hand weapon, while the others are using it as their main weapon. For the Protector of Stone, um, the Stud Shooter is used in a staff. 
For the protector of jungle, it is used in a elemental bow. And for the protector of water, it's used in a little undersea explorer type thingy. Not exactly sure what it's called. But, yeah. And most of them, but not all of them, have a secondary weapon for the protector of earth. He's actually got two weapons since his stud cheater is built into his chest. He's got this little, like, little drilling star, which you can't really see, but I'll show you right He's got this little drilling star, and he's got these, this, um, these two knives, or just one knife. Um, let me put that back. There we go. Alright, so yeah, whoops, oh, so these are the ones for secondary weapons, so the protect, oh, whoops. So the protector of earth has the little drilling, yeah, transpar transparent purple star with the knife. Um, Protector of Fire has these two, um, twin little, um, blade things, um, fire blades, not exactly sure. Um, the Protector of Ice has a saw shield, the, and that's all, oh, those are the only ones that have, like, actual secondary weapons. So, that's pretty much it for secondary weapons. Um, Let's see, another thing that makes them unique is that most of them, not all of them, but most of them have the new protector add-on pieces. And those protector add-on pieces are, let's just get the protect, let's just get one. Let's just take it from the protector of stone. The protector add-on pieces basically look like this. Look a little similar to the Toa Mata torso um, from 2001, 2002, 2003. And basically how they connect on to armor pieces and stuff, they basically use these two peg pins um, that connect into the armor. Just like that. So it's really simple. They're nice new add-on pieces. They ver look very biomechanical, so that's really nice. And these aren't just used in the protectors. They're also used in the Toa as well. So, um, but there is one that does... There is one protector who doesn't have it, and that is the protector of Earth. Sadly, he does not have it. He kind of has these, um, these things right here. So, anyways, I will see you at the end of the video and go over my final thoughts on these. Okay, so overall, um, I really like the protectors. Um, but before we kind of end off the video, let's go over my likes and dislikes about these sets. So the likes about these sets, well, for me, um, I will I I like the stud shooters. They're really nice. They're great function. Adds a lot of play value into the set. Like all the translucent pieces, oh, they come with a ton. I like their masks. Like all the new parts. Like all the new recolors. And yeah, kind of. And I like their size. I mean, their size is reasonable because. They're not the big main heroes, and it makes sense for them to just be at this size. So, those are my, my likes. Um, some people might like these things. Some people might like new pieces, like the armor add-ons. Um, but, some, I don't know. But, yeah, some people, um, if you like the, C, the CCBS system, people, will, you will like these sets. They will, because they mainly use the C. CCBS system, which is the character and creature build system. So, anyways, they so yeah, they mainly use the C CCBS system. So if you like CCBS, then you're gonna like these sets. Um, another thing, well, actually, there isn't a whole lot. Those are pretty much the reasons why people might like those these sets, and the reason why I like these sets. But let's get into the dislikes now. So some people might not like CCBS and it's too simplistic. And if you do not like CCBS, you probably not gonna like these sets at all. If you do, then you will. But alright, stay in dislikes. Um, if you don't really like trans the transparent pieces that much, then yeah, these are bad sets for you to get. Although I don't know why. But anyways, let's keep moving on. If you like getting like small characters and don't don't like to spend a lot of money, this is perfect. If you want to get a gift for someone, one or two, one of these sets is pretty good. Maybe one or two. 
I don't know, but they're pretty good sets because I don't know. They just got a lot. Of, they just, they're cheap and they've got play value in it. Though the only dislike about it would be that the stud shooters wouldn't really um, for younger kids. I really wouldn't recommend it because if you lose it, then you never know. Because yeah, they can get lost easier and cannot be found easier for with younger kids. So yeah, that's probably not a good thing. So yeah, that re that's actually another dislike. Not a big. I mean, I don't like how you can possibly lose these studs. I mean, I haven't lost any of them yet, but there is a possibility in the future that I might. But don't worry, they come with extra studs. But then what happens if you lose all the extra studs? Then you're then that's not good. So, that's another dislike. Stud cheaters for some people. For me, I'm okay with it. Because I'm careful. Um, another dislike may, may be the new, the new mask and head function where you can pop off the mask with by pressing on the eyepiece. Some people might not like that because you can lose your very great new mask easily considering all these masks have trans translucent um translucent color mixed into the um normal plain solid color that's these are really great masks masks and i would not want to lose any of them so that is kind of a problem they will so if you accidentally just even do like a little tap on the on the on the head or eyepiece then it'll it'll you might have a chance to even lose your new mask but overall, this think this about wraps things up on likes and dislikes. So overall, to me, these are great sets for me. I kind of like them. Well, they're not the best, but they're pretty good considering they don't have gear functions like the Toa. But they do help the Toa, and they are very pretty important to the story. So yeah, if they weren't in the story, then. Toa would probably never even finish their quest of getting their golden masks. So, yeah. They wouldn't even make it to the ancient city or anything without these protectors. So, these protectors are absolutely essential to the Bionicle story, story or the new Bionicle story, as I should say. The rebooted story. So, anyways, this is probably going to be the end of this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't worry, more videos are coming up soon. I will... So um, stay tuned for those, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!